Inscriptions of her time refer to Sempiyan Madhavi, who hailed from the Malavar clan and was the consort of Kandaratatha Chola, a Siva sage, as a Pratiyar with the right belly of Uttama Chola Deva, the lord of Srimaduratakath. Normally, mothers carry their babies in their wombs for ten months. Some mothers even raise babies born in other women's wombs as their own. Because Sempiyan Madhavi had raised another child as her child for a long time, it seems that someone who knew that fact mentioned in the inscription that Uttama Chola was the one who gave birth to him. When Uttama Chola was only five years old, Sempiyan Madhavi happened to see him in Vani Amai. When he met Vani Amai many years later, Sempiyan Madhavi lovingly inquired about her health benefits. Amudhadi naturally fell in love with Sendan Amuthan, who thought he was Vana's child. When he inquired about the child, Vana saw a look of shock and fear on Amai's face. At first, he thought there might be other reasons for it. As she was unable to speak, she was unable to learn anything from her. Yet considering the help Vani Amai had once done for her, and because of her affection for her child, he provided the necessary assistance to both the mother and the child to lead a carefree life. Living near Tanjore Sendan Amuthan excelled in education, morals, and devotion to Shiva. He also showed great enthusiasm in doing Pushpa Tirapani to help his mother. Seeing this, Sempian Madhavi's natural love for him grew. One day a strange doubt appeared in his mind. It caused him simultaneous pleasure and pain and an unknown panic. Tried many ways to get rid of that doubt but could not. He was not at peace as the memory of his child who died a few days after birth, often arose. Finally, one day Vana decided to ask the mother clearly and find out. He made Vana to be brought alone. Didn't he give his dead child to Vani and bury it without anyone knowing? He asked him to tell the place where he was buried, saying that a school temple should be built as a memorial to him at the place where he was buried. It was the memory of these old events that gave him agony. All this had to be heard in sign language from the deaf and dumb. It gave him more unspeakable agony. Vana was very reluctant to answer his questions. Finally, unable to disobey the Empress's orders, she told the truth. She narrated in detail that the child given to her for burial was not really dead, and that a person named Sadari Raman had pointed it out to her, and that she went to Tirapakakadu with Kuryudi Raman, fearing what would happen if she returned to the Queen and that after some time, Sararaman had left her, so she came back to Olderai. On the one hand, Sempi Yan Madhavi was overjoyed when she learned that Sendan Amuthan was indeed the child she had carried in her womb for ten months. His whole body trembled. Tears flowed from the eyes. Son! That made Kowich Sendan want to embrace Amuthan. However, he restrained that enthusiasm. If that truth was revealed, he was on the one hand panicked thinking of the confusion that might arise from it. He was able to control the affection of a mother for her child because his soul had attained such a high level of wisdom that he could consider that all children born in the world are children of God. What if you grew up in a palace? What if you grew up in a shack? Aren't all the pleasures of human life in this state just an illusion? Is not the destiny to be attained after giving up worldly life important? He often thought and strengthened his mind because he hated the royal ways of my father and lived in the shadow of Lord Shiva. However, since Sendan Amuthan knew that he was the son born in his womb, the idea of not placing his son Madhurand Hakan in the Chola Singadanam was strengthened in his heart. Earlier he had confessed his crime to Kandaratathi and received forgiveness. What if it is a child born in your womb? What if it is a child born to an orphan? Both are equal in God's eyes. So raise Madhurandha as your own son. But do not desire him to climb the Chola throne. Do not conform to it. That is a betrayal of the Chola clan from which I was born. Such a situation. Don't hesitate to admit the truth if you have to. He had told Devi that Kandaratatha had promised to do so. But without knowing that their own son was growing up in the hut as the son of Vani Amai, the Mahan attained Shivpa Dam. Had he known this, what would he have done? How would Sendan have ordered to act in the case of Amuthan? Sembian Mathavi thought about this many times. This has happened by God's will. 
it is God's will that the son of the mute should grow up in the palace and the son of the emperor should grow up in the hut, and we must not interfere with that. Trying to change it will result in many confusions. The heart of his adopted son will be greatly hurt by it. Do not commit such a sin. He finally decided that. It was only because of his unparalleled faith in the Lord that he was able to fulfill the above resolution. Yet often he could not help but think of the elixir of Senton. Whenever he remembers, the natural motherly love does not swell and swell in him. This struggle had been going on in the depths of his heart for years. Isn't it possible that a flood that has been held back by a dam for a long time suddenly bursts through the dam one day? Many people will have seen and experienced how powerful and fast the flood will flow. The emotional flood of motherly affection that had been dammed in Sembian Mathavi's heart now broke the bank and flowed. Prime Minister Anuradha mentioned that the god who arose in the belly of the goddess caused the dam of Sempiyan Mathavi's heart to break. As soon as Anuradha spoke those words, Sempiyan Mathavi relived the experience of raising the child in her womb for ten months in a split second. Forgetting himself, forgetting the Sankalpa he was doing, Sendan called Amudana my son. Had to call out and hug him and burst into tears. Even though Sempi Yan Madevi was in a state of trance due to her emotions, Amuthan's words were well etched in her mind. Mother. Call me son. Do you still have the guts to call that? Didn't he say that? What is the meaning of these words? Did Amuthan know beforehand who his mother was? Did he know and not reveal it for so long? After being in a state of speechless ecstasy for some time, Sempi Yan Madevi strengthened her mind and said, Son. You already knew that I was a sinner who carried you for ten months? Did you know that and were angry with me? That's why you did not ask me about it. He said in a subdued voice. Then Sendan Amuthan poured out the following passionate words as if the sea had opened. Mother. I had known for some time that I was blessed to be born in their wombs. You, the world-renowned saint, would one day call me son. I was doing penance to be called. I was trying to be worthy to be called their son. Day and night I was meditating on Lord Shiva's chants. I used to come to them even if they didn't call me. But I was waiting for the right of this kingdom to be settled. I only asked for the right to call them mother. I belong to the kingdom. After ascertaining who it was, I wanted to come to them and claim my mother's rights. Mother. I was willing to sacrifice the flower that stole my heart to walk without their displeasure. Fortunately, she also changed her mind. Mother. Three days ago my life was in great danger. The danger came shortly after Pungazali and I bowed down to them and received their blessings. A good friend saved me from that danger. I wasn't too happy about it at the time. He doesn't even have that much to thank him for. Now I realize how much I owe him. Didn't you call me son by your father? Wasn't I alive to see this day? This is enough. I have become blessed. I don't want anything anymore. Let only those here know what happened here. Don't let anyone else know. No more chaos in the kingdom. Send me and Pungazali goodbye to leave for Kadakare immediately. The danger came shortly after Pungazali and I bowed down to them and received their blessings. A good friend saved me from that danger. I wasn't too happy about it at the time. He doesn't even have that much to thank him for. Now I realize how much I owe him. Didn't you call me son by your father? Wasn't I alive to see this day? This is enough. I have become blessed. I don't want anything anymore. Let only those here know what happened here. Don't let anyone else know. No more chaos in the kingdom. Send me and Pungazali goodbye to leave for Kadakare immediately. The danger came shortly after Pungazali and I bowed down to them and received their blessings. A good friend saved me from that danger. I wasn't too happy about it at the time. He doesn't even have that much to thank him for. Now I realize how much I owe him. Didn't you call me son by your father? Wasn't I alive to see this day? This is enough. I have become blessed. I don't want anything anymore. Let only those here know what happened here. 
Don't let anyone else know. No more chaos in the kingdom. Send me and Pungazali goodbye to leave for Kadakare immediately. I wasn't too happy about it at the time. He doesn't even have that much to thank him for. Now I realize how much I owe him. Didn't you call me son by your father? Wasn't I alive to see this day? This is enough. I have become blessed. I don't want anything anymore. Let only those here know what happened here. Don't let anyone else know. No more chaos in the kingdom. Send me and Pungazali goodbye to leave for Kadakare immediately. I wasn't too happy about it at the time. He doesn't even have that much to thank him for. Now I realize how much I owe him. Didn't you call me son by your father? Wasn't I alive to see this day? This is enough. I have become blessed. I don't want anything anymore. Let only those here know what happened here. Don't let anyone else know. No more chaos in the kingdom. Send me and Pungazali goodbye to leave for Kadakare immediately. Didn't you call them from their parents? Wasn't I alive to see this day? This is enough. I have become blessed. I don't want anything anymore. Let only those here know what happened here. Don't let anyone else know. No more chaos in the kingdom. Send me and Pungazali goodbye to leave for Kadakare immediately. Didn't you call them from their parents? Wasn't I alive to see this day? This is enough. I have become blessed. I don't want anything anymore. Let only those here know what happened here. Don't let anyone else know. No more chaos in the kingdom. Send me and Pungazali goodbye to leave for Kadakare immediately. Words cannot describe the storm of emotions these words created in the heart of the great bratty Sembian Mathavi. In a soft voice mixed with sobs and tears, she said, Child, you are my best son. You are the best son of my husband, the perfect son of God. He said that. All this time, Sundara Kalar, Chinap Palyavatarayar, and Ilay Aprati Kundavatavi were in awe. The secret revealed there, and the consequences that would result from it, caused great turmoil in their hearts. Kuntha was the first among them to have the power to speak. Father. Now I see the reason why the great Pratiyar insisted that Madhurand Hagar should not be crowned. Sundara Chola, then overcome with awe and astonishment, said, Yes, Kumari. But that reason is gone now. He can no longer object to crowning the perfect son born in the womb of my great mother, can he? Said. Sembian Mathavi looked at Sundara Chola with a little excitement and said, Emperor. Did you not hear what my son said a while ago? This news should not be known to anyone except the people here. My son has not claimed the right to kingdom. He has announced it with his own mouth in front of them. Said. Yes Lord. Enough of the problems already existing in this Chola kingdom. Let me not create any new problems. Answer me. Bless me and send Pungwali who has come to marry me. Pungwali. Come here. Said Amuthan. Pungazali who was standing near the doorstep came in. Synthan Amuthan and Pungazali first offered their salutations to Sempi Yan Madavi. Then, they worshipped the emperor. When Sendan Amuthan stood up, he said, Lord. Give us leave to go to Kadakare immediately. Mother. Give us leave. He said. Sempi Yan Madavi looked at the emperor and said, Yes, sir. Let us send them away. When I feel like it, I will go to Kadakar and take care of them. Said. Sundara Kalar said, It is impossible for a day and I will not give up. Said. The Prime Minister interrupted and said, Emperor. Do not decide anything now. Let them remain in my house for a few days. The son of the great Brady has been found. But the son-in-law of the small Pulavetariar has not been found. Let them stay here until news of him comes. Until then let no one know this secret except those here. Said. It must be said by grace. Said the youngest Brady Kundave Devi. Don't, don't. Don't just do that, pleaded Sendan Amuthan. 
At last the emperor said, Devi. Be that as it may. After all these days, the son born in their womb has come to you today. I will not agree to part with you immediately. You must stay here for a few days. Stay in my palace or in the palace of the prime minister. After the final decision about the right of the kingdom is made, they will be killed. Let's think about sending it. Until then, no one but here should know about this news. Said.